everybody. Welcome to Miss Amy's Creations. Today I am making a simplified um, corn chowder. Now, um, what you will need is about a cup of um, bacon crumbs. Uh, you can crumble it, chop it, however. You want to pre-cook that a medium onion I am using two cans of creamed corn and I have about now three or four medium potatoes cut up you also need two cups of heavy cream or half and half is what the recipe calls for I do not have any, so I will be using my heavy cream that I had frozen. And I'm also using vegetable broth. If you don't have any broth, you can use water. And I'm also going to season it with pepper. Um, I think everything is, um, the cream corn will have enough salt in it for us, but if you like extra salt, you can do that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my pan, which if you're frying your bacon, you can use that bacon grease, which would be even better. So we'll get this heating. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our onions and our potatoes to this uh, hot pan and just give it like five minutes to um, mix the flavors and slightly start cooking them. So I'll be back when that has finished. Alright, um, what I'm doing is over here I am heating up my cream just a little bit. Um, that's how this particular recipe said to do it. But my potatoes have cooked. Everything is looking good in here. And while um, this cream is heating, I wanted to tell you thank you for coming. Thank you for all the subscribers. And um, if you're not a subscriber, Please subscribe, hit the notification, and leave me comments about what you might like to see uh, made on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and pour my two cups of cream into our soup. And that is it. Um, like I said, you could add salt, pepper, however much you need. But this is a little bit quicker than the traditional cutting off the cob and, and making your soup. So, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you next time.